Hey there, how are you all doing? I am Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Thursday, February 23rd. And the moon is in Aries. It was in Aries yesterday as well. And so we were talking yesterday about uh, risk taking and some of the Aries themes that come along uh, with a well with an Aries moon. So doing things, initiating things, creating new beginnings and Aries having that energy of uh, of something new, something emerging that force of uh, life force energy and will to uh, to move and to act. So check out yesterday's video if you missed that. And then today I thought we would dive a little deeper and look at um, some th different paths to self-discovery because uh, Aries energy is also, of course, about self-discovery and figuring out who we are through trial and error, through risk-taking, through uh, bold action and being ourselves and moving from that place. And so you have to keep in uh, it all in perspective and everything is connected here. So we've got... Um, the moon in Aries currently, and it be, uh, began this moon cycle with the moon in new moon in Pisces. And so now the moon has moved on from that new moon in Pisces, uh, completed its journey through Pisces, and now has gone into Aries. Um, but we're continuing to unfold this uh, moon cycle that has the themes of the Pisces energy. And so with that Pisces energy, that's the that's the work we're doing this moon cycle. Um, we we're connecting with a bigger picture, dreams, imagining, uh, uh, recognizing our interconnectedness, how we are, how the, how separation is an illusion, and so as we. Uh, discover and learn more about our interconnectedness and how um, our, our feelings and ways of being human are really not so different from those of uh, the other people um, in our world. Whether we agree with them or not, we are all human. We are all part of this bigger picture of humanity. And the bigger pictures of what is important to us is um, going to be our guiding beacon, right? So, um, so accessing and thinking about what is important to you for your heart, for the bigger spiritual picture, that bigger picture of your interconnectedness with uh, those who have gone before you, ancestors, those who are going to come after you, um, the the future of life on the planet, and just your, how you fit in the bigger picture of all of that, and how your choices in in this life and in this particular day even are um, going to have an impact on what's on that bigger picture of what's important to you. So uh, so no pressure, right? It's all about forgiveness and self care and self-love. So um, so the energy of this Aries moon is just reminding us that as we discover more of who we are through that uh, uh, will or force, life force energy that's coming through us to take action and to uh, figure out more of how we can have an impact and how to do it from the gifts that we've been given uh, in this life. And so um, uh, so we're working with the Pisces moon cycle. It's also good to, you know, everything's connected. So it's good to think about when an, a moon is in Aries, what is the planet Mars doing? Mars is the ruler of Aries. And so Mars is in Gemini where it's been for several months, we're having an extended period of Mars in Gemini. So that means that our action, our risk-taking, our courage, our need to find our true path is going to be uh, in this area of ideas, of communication, of how we can articulate and share what's important to us. And so finding the right words is, uh, is important. 
And then, of course, <clears throat> with the Pisces moon cycle, uh, you know, we're dissolving boundaries. So it's more of a feeling, right? It's more of a uh, bigger picture of the heart and feeling and meaning and some of those things that don't necessarily get conveyed through words, but more through how we show up. So, okay. So with that, all of that context, coming back to the three paths to self-discovery, and ways that an Aries moon can support us in, in this self-discovery process. So, so discovering yourself is just figuring out who you are and how to be you in the world and what that looks like and what it means to move authentically and to, to speak up and to be yourself and take up space in the ways that the Aries energy uh, reminds us we need to do. So coming from that place of the bigger picture of heart and spirit and what's important to us in in our interconnectedness. Um, so three things that the Aries moon can, three ways really that the Aries moon can help us in this process um, is one present moment awareness. So Aries energy is very much about being present living spontaneously, living from that place of emergence and excitement and enthusiasm that comes just through the experience of being alive. And look, I'm alive. I can do this. I can try this. I can move in this way. Isn't that cool? Let's go do it. So present moment awareness, what's happening around you? What is in front of you right now? What is it inviting you to step into or expand into or to do, right? Like what, what action is are you invited to take in this moment simply uh, in because it's the present and it's here and now? And, uh, you know, whether that's taking your shoes off and stepping in the river or, um, or taking, you know, uh, committing to do something that you weren't planning on doing, right? Taking a little risk on that or speaking up when you weren't um, intending to say anything. It's just like being present for that spontaneity. So present moment awareness is one of the uh, paths that Aries can help us um, to on our self-discovery process. The second one is taking risks. And we've been talking about this. It's simply like, do it anyway. Feel the fear and do it anyway. This is how courage uh, comes through us. And so the, the worst that will happen is uh, you will fail and you will learn from that failure. So take the risk, do it, try it. That is what the Aries energy is asking us to do. And so what actions, what movements, what um, commitments, what risks, what what are the things that um, you are being invited to uh, to try out, right? Uh, and so taking risks. That is another path to self-discovery because you are inevitably going to learn, right? You'll either learn what you're capable of that you never realized you could do or how how people might respond to you when you speak up or do something. Um, you are you are also potentially going to learn from your mistakes. And so that's equally valuable. And uh, getting on the other side of something that didn't go the way you were hoping or the way you thought um, can be an opportunity for, wow, you know, I never would have known that if I hadn't tried it or walked that path of self-discovery. So that's uh, the first one was present moment awareness and spontaneity. The second one is courage and taking risks. And the third one is don't be afraid to make waves. So remember, we're talking about self-discovery. How can you know who you are if you're if you're holding back because you don't want to take up space? So it's this attitude of I'm going to be me and it may make people uncomfortable. It may make me uncomfortable. It may uh, be something that uh, feels like it's going to ruffle feathers or make waves or uh, cause some, some blips in the otherwise even smooth consistency of life. So, um, so don't be afraid to make waves because that's how you get to be you. And if you're always trying to fit in and make yourself smaller and not take up space, um, the world will carry on, but it won't get the benefit 
of you and all you have to offer. And again, you're not going to know what that is unless you take the risk to put it out there and try it. Um, so those are three paths to self-discovery that the Aries moon can support us uh, with, you know, the, the energy, the energetics of support for doing these things. So uh, we got present moment awareness and spontaneity. We got courage and taking risks. And then we've got making waves and taking up space by being yourself. So let me know in the comments if this resonated for you. What are you going to do? What feels spontaneous or authentic for you? Or maybe there's another path to self-discovery that came up for you while you were watching this video that uh, I didn't mention. I would love to hear about it. And thank you so much for being here and for sharing and for your support. You can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com. Thanks for being here and for subscribing to the Astrology of Unshakable Self-Care. I will be back with you tomorrow with more. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.